Okay guys, Assalamualaikum dan selamat pagi Very good morning to all Di mana saja anda berada So ini saya punya first try eh. Kita nak buat uh, lecture video saya Okay, saya akan buat video short short video In a 15 minutes interval Maybe less So you guys stick on eh, And listen And kita akan sambung kita punya pengajar kita lah InsyaAllah So kita akan sambung dengan AC meter Last time kita dah sampai ke DC meter So kita akan uh, we will continue how to to use AC meter uh, no, to use PMTMC instrument which is the assembly instrument and convert it into AC meter using rectify circuit ok so before kita dah tadi tentang apa itu DC meter kan apa DC meter kita dah gunakan macam ni nak convert jadi DC meter, DC voltmeter, DC ohm meter and loading effect and all other things lah so today kita akan sambung dengan AC meter Kita akan introduce apa itu AC meter and how to convert the AC meter into a half using half wave rectification and using full wave rectification and some rolling effect. Okay. So basically, sebenarnya in instrumentation world, they are also is uh, kita baca sekarang so far ialah meter moment kita gunakan uh, the AC valve. But actually, in fact, there are also other type of meter moment. For example, there are also electrodynamometer and it's the iron vein type and the electrostatic type and thermocouple type these are all the five types of macam mana dia measure um, <coughs> meter movement lah. okay so uh, but we have learned so far that you know the assembly valve can be used to measure dc measurement but it cannot be used to measure ac but it can be measured unless kita gunakan what we call a circuit core rectifier okay so, for example, electrodynamometer can be used for to measure both yes for DC and AC, okay. And for iron vein can also measure both DC and AC, it, um, similar with electrostatic and thermocouple. But for the answer well, to measure AC, you have to use some some sort of rectifier circuit, lah. okay. So before that, let's begin with uh, <coughs> our basic review on rolling sinusoid and AC signal, and you know that a periodic waveform is basically a waveform that repeats the exact, exact same, same shape again over and over okay so basically when a waveform when it's what we call a periodic periodic means you have some kind of repetition you start from a still value go up and go down and go up something like that this is an example of what we call a sinusoidal waveform okay so basically it doesn't change so the shape the summer for the whole duration and then this 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 periodic can also continue again and again until it, it stops lah. okay so the sinusoidal waveform which is sine wave is one example of a periodic waveform all right as you can see down here up here is a sinusoidal waveform and down here also is a sinusoidal waveform but actually there are also other type of waveform for example a square wave can become it's also called a periodic waveform a triangular waveform like this is also a periodic waveform okay so basically the voltage and current in power system are typically in AC waves. From AC stands for alternating current. Yeah. The AC voltages and current goes up and down to a maximum value and in a sinusoidal waveform. For example, if you if you use a a, a waveform uh, for what for example oscilloscope to 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 measure to see how the voltage looks like, then in our power system we will look something like this. Okay. So basically, uh, just to review, a waveform is a basically a path traced by a quantity plotted as a function of some variable, such as position, degree, radius, temperature, and so on. Okay, so it's a waveform. It's not any quantity. Okay, so periodic waveform is a waveform that continually repeats itself after the same time interval. Okay, so it repeats itself. For example, after the same time interval, you repeat again. For well, this is, for example, this is the first period. This is the second period, and so on and so forth. Okay, another term is instantaneous value. Bas basically, this is the magnitude of a waveform at any instant of time, denoted by the lower case. Okay, for example, at time t1, the instantaneous value for this E, let's say maybe this is a voltage, is E1. So the E1 is value at this point. Okay, and then for example, the instantaneous value at time 2 is t2. Okay, so the value is something around, somewhere around here. This is E2, which is also a negative, negative value. Lah. Okay, so that's what we call instantaneous value. It's the moment, it's the, the exact value at that particular time. And then there's another term that you need to know, which is called peak-to-peak -peak value. 
okay, or denoted by E P to P or V P P P. Okay, so it, it it basically it tells you the full voltage between positive and negative peaks of the waveform. That is the sum of the magnitude of the positive and negative peak. Okay, so the magnitude basically so the peak to peak voltage. Okay, first of all, before we discuss about peak to peak, there is a one term we call magnitude. Okay, E M here is the magnitude. Okay, so basically it's the distance, the value from zero reference to the peak of that uh, sinusoid waveform. Okay, so the peak to peak value, okay, so this is also a magnitude. This is a positive cycle, this is for the negative cycle. So the maximum value is the, uh, is the magnitude for this part of the, of the waveform. So the peak to peak basically is from each the positive maximum value to the negative maximum, so the whole range of from the positive magnitude to the negative magnitude. That's what we call the peak to peak value. Okay, basically it's just it's a, it's a double of what the magnitude value. <coughs> and that's another term called period. Okay, period basically is, is the time of a period waveform to complete one complete cycle. Okay, for example, for a complete cycle from this point, so it will go up and go down and go up again to the exact. Uh, value the same value okay so this is called one cycle this graph also is uh, described about uh, it's described one cycle of a waveform because it start from the same point for the same magnitude and then go up down and go up again okay? and this also i think is, is the most easiest one to identify uh what is a, a period of cycle so it start from let's say from zero go back go up and then go down and then go back again crossing the zero value so this whole period from this time to this time is called one cycle and this one is one period one period in one period okay so the so cycle basically is the portion of a waveform contained in one period so the cycle so in one period so this is period number one period number two period number three so whatever the time let's say this time starts here from zero and it goes for a certain time let's say <coughs> time x so the period 41 is x Okay, so the x value. Lah. So, and then there's another term called the frequency, which is the number of cycles that occur in one second. Okay, so before we continue, basically, <coughs> we can we can uh, write this equation, the, the sinusoid form, uh, <coughs> the sinusoid signal in terms of a sine function. Okay, so if we call it the function E of t, okay, of this waveform is equals to magnitude the e of m multiplied by the sine of omega t okay omega here is what you call a radial frequency okay radial frequency and omega here basically um is a frequency of this system but we can also uh, convert it into a what you call this one is a f the frequency is a linear frequency linear frequency and before that, this radial frequency, the unit is in radian per second, and linear frequency in, in hertz. Okay, so if you want to convert into uh, from <coughs> um, <coughs> linear frequency into um, uh, radial frequency, then you can use the relationship is omega equals to two pi multiplied by f. F basically is the linear frequency, yeah? so f here. And the relation between the frequency and the period is just the frequency is one over t one over period t is a period okay let's move on okay i think i have discussed about the amplitude and the peak value the peak to peak value okay so i'm just gonna skip this through okay and uh, <coughs> for example in this example the peak to peak value the peak value is uh, 20 volt let's say and the peak to peak value is the whole the, the magnitude from 20 to minus 20 so peak to peak value is 40 volt right so from here 20 plus 20 all right so the rms value there's another value called the rms value okay which is basically the the short name for root mean square value all right so vrms basically is the peak peak value or the magnitude divided by square root of two okay so and uh, square root of two is 1.4142 and so on and it's equal to 0 0.707 multiplied by vp so you can also use this equation if we uh, rearrange it you can calculate vp if we know the vrms 
uh, we can calculate b pick just multiply by square root of 2. Okay. And there's another term what we call average value. The average value is for uh, some purpose, the average value is used to specify the voltage and current. Okay. So the average value is also known as a DC value. Ah, this is very important for you to just remember. The average value in any sinusoidal form is always is basically this the DC value. So by definition, the average V value or DC value is calculated using the following. So basically, if you have you want to find the average value or the DC value, the same thing is two over pi multiplied by the peak voltage. Okay, two over pi is zero point six three six multiplied by VP. So basically, you can calculate that the for, for DC value for this. Okay, this is only for this this kind of shape. Okay, the sinusoidal complete the shape. So if they if the the, the periodic waveform is in different shape, then they cannot use this formula, right? So it's a zero point six three six multiplied by Z two V RMS. Then you can relate the DC value with the RMS value by just a factor of zero point nine eight nine nine. Okay. <coughs> so basically, you can see that. For any RMS value, the DC value is just ninety percent. Eight point nine 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 is that approximately ninety percent, ninety percent of the value, lah. Okay. Okay. I think this. Uh, I have this this question for you. If you want to try and to you to 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 exercise, what well, is the peak value? The instantaneous value. You can go ahead and try it at your home. And if you have time, I will I will show you the solution. Okay. This also an, also another practice problem. And there is an answer down here. If you want to go ahead and, and look at the answer, I uh, you can go ahead. All right. So um, <coughs> so now, how do we construct an AC meter? Okay. So basically, for the Asseval meter movement, okay, as we know before, it only responds to the average or DC value of the current through moving coil. So it it, it, it does not respond very well to AC signal, meaning that PMMC instrument cannot directly measure AC. Okay, if you have an AC, AC what? What is AC? It's alternating current. Means the current will move back and forth, which is up and down, right? You know, remember the AC is go the voltage go positive one direction, one one cycle in half cycle, and another time you will go negative. Negative means the opposite direction. So if we go back and forth, back and forth. So basically, if the current go back into it go into the wire coil into the needle. So the needle will will flutter. We will go back and forth, back and forth because the current movement will go back and forth. Okay. So let's call what we call to make PMC to measure IC signal. We must first rectify the AC by using what we call rectification. Uh, we we have to connect this whole circuit into a rectification circuit to produce a constant or unidirectional or DC current flow. Okay. So in general, rectification is a process. To convert AC signal to DC signal, and what you call uh, can commonly use a diode uh, as, as one of the major component for a rectifier circuit. And there are two types of rectification, which is half rectification and full rectification. Okay, so we will stop uh, now for the first part of the of the session, and we'll continue for the next one after this. Okay, thank you very much. I see you in the next video.